Hello, everybody. My name is Puppeteen from I Love Puppets here on the Extreme Movie Show. Yes, yes, me and Froggy have done another puppet takeover. It has mm -hmm. happened. I think I, I think I really do enjoy covering this show. You know, out of all the CW shows, this is this is one of the better ones. And so I think uh, I think maybe we should just take it from here on. Yeah, yeah, we should hop to it and hop take to it. control. Well, I guess this is a recap and review, so I guess we should recap what happens, huh? Or, or rehop it. <laughs> uh, well, well, let's hop to it then. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, uh, I told, I told you. So Nikki is found on the ground where uh, Zyland had left her, and Evan goes out there, finds her, and she, he's really worried. He gets her up and into the car, and she says she just needs to get away, pretty much. Um, and so she, she, he knows where to take her and Henry goes after her afterwards and sees she's not there and calls her, but she is not going to, uh, actually speak to him. She just texts him saying that Zylon got away with a dagger and apologizes. Um, but in the car. Nikki is telling Evan about Pei Ling. She's worried that she's not who Nikki thought she was. Uh, so Evan, at that point, takes her to an old place where they used to go when they were younger in a couple. Yeah, I think um, his parent was his parents' cabin. Yeah, yeah, they used to sneak off there when they when they were younger. Um, and he cleans her wounds, and they share a moment. So it's, it's there's a little bit of worry yeah, there. That was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they, it's supposed to be awkward. They're exes, uh, but he then says, "I should return back to Sabine uh, and his fiance," and he leaves. Pei Ling has this weird ghost thing that she's been doing to Nikki. It might just be Nikki's mind, but Pei Ling appears to Nikki. And tells her not to succumb, uh, succumb to uh, doubt. She's still on the right path. And Nikki doesn't want to hear it. Saying that Pei Ling isn't really real. Uh, she's not really there. So. All she can do is go away. And that'll be the only thing that can help her. And Nikki at that point says she's pretty much done fighting for Pei Ling. That she's given up the entire mission right here, right mm -hmm. now. It, it, it is quite... Uh, mm. Temper tantrum? Yeah, a little bit. You know, understandable. You found out. But, you know, but I'm thinking, like, you saw this, you saw this woman kill the Pei Ling. And this woman says, well, Pei Ling killed my father. Will you trust the evil villain? Yeah, that that's one of the silly things. Um... Zyland, though, uh, she is in China, uh, back into their old family home, and she has a flashback of when she's a kid, um, and we see her unwell, and Pei Ling is really taking care of her, while their father is working on something at uh, the desk and saying that he really needs to work, so please shut up <laughs> because paling wants to get her medicine mm -hmm. but it doesn't last that long uh Zylan quickly comes back to the real world and before that though on the paper she sees some symbols that she noticed on nikki's hand during the fight dun 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 um she doesn't know exactly what they mean but she wants to find those papers in that house. Mm -hmm. um, at the community center, uh, Ryan is looking at Nikki. Uh, Nikki, it, her ribs aren't broken, but they're really bruised. And he says something like hella bad, uh, as in to, <laughs> she, she has a comment. Is that a medical term? Because she, she just wants the facts. She wants mm -hmm. it straight. She's not in the mood. Um, yeah, basically, he tells her, like, as long as you don't you just take out, take a month off, relax, you'll be fine. You know? No kung fu. Um, Would and, you talk about, and she's like, no, people want to watch a show. 
<laughs> she doesn't say that, but yes, they wouldn't want to watch the show. Um, Althea is, says that they're worried about her uh, because she's not talking about what happened. And if she can't talk about it with family, she should talk to Henry. She finally sees Henry, who's also worried, and they agree to talk. But Henry has uh, to meet a friend uh, who needs some help of his. He invites Nikki along and Henry's friend. Uh, what was his name? Um, Kevin? Kevin. Is concerned about his sister. His sister has sold all of her belongings, cut ties with family and everything to move into a facility to train in the art of Kung Fu with a master Drake. Um... The, yeah, this this guy looks straight out of what was it? Uh, Karate Kid Three, <laughs> Master Drake. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Guy. He really does. The uh, long hair, ponytail, and might as well, might as well be him. Yeah, and uh, Nikki says that she'll infant infiltrate this open training session at Drake's studio, um, and he, he he she's going to find out uh, what exactly the sisters into, so that way they can. Get her out of there. Um, back in China, Zilan's uncle comes over and he wonders what brings her home because, well, she she hasn't come home uh, in a long time, it seems. Uh, she says that she came to because she's missing her dad and we get another flashback. And this is the big one. Because in the last episode, Zilan said that Pei Ling killed their father, and we see exactly what happens. He wants to sell the sword, the sword that Pei Ling has sworn to protect. Yeah, he and, didn't care about he didn't care about the mother. The mother was she said it's their legacy; they're supposed to protect the sword. She's like, yeah, it's a bunch of child fairy tales, whatever. Kind of insulting the older daughter, who based you know Pei Ling is like, no, I'm not gonna let you sell it. And he yeah. goes to grab the sword, and stupidly he impels himself. Yeah, he did that himself, and Zylan yeah, just yeah. always blamed her. Well, Zylan was like, what, three or four years old? He did Something not like that. He did not really understand, but she's, and she's kind of like, you killed our dad. I'm like, um, did, you, did you see what I saw? Because that's not the way. Yeah. <sighs> Pei Ling tries to talk her into coming with her, but Zylan doesn't, and so Pei Ling runs. Um... We get a small Nikki and mom moment early on uh, and says that, oh, she fell and that's what her wound, her uh, bruises over her ribs are about. Um, she then goes to the place, uh, the studio, and mm -hmm. she approaches Phoebe. Um, she gives like a training tip and then reveals why she's really there. Phoebe instantly, like, cold as ice because Master Drake is her shifu, and thus mm -hmm. she she will do anything for him. And Phoebe reveals that uh, her goal to master the art, uh, the highest tier of Drake's training, no matter what it costs her. Um, Nikki then goes to speak to Drake, and says that she wants to learn about this higher form of, uh, uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called, uh, Sao Hung, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. He tells her that only initiates can learn, and that it's achieved through a series of trials to unlock the deepest secrets of Kung Fu. Um, Drake offers to uh, waive Nikki's fee to get in and let her participate, in that single trial, uh, in the first trial, sorry, uh, since she trained in Shaolin, in a, Sh a Shaolin monastery, and she, she agrees to. Okay, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to collect my thoughts. We go back to China. Zilan's uncle says that he missed her, uh, especially since she, uh, left mm -hmm. after her, le her last fit it's as quickly as she did and she explains she had an unexpected visitor and we flash back to two years ago two years ago 
It seems that Pei Ling went to see Zalan, and she wanted to explain everything, but Zalan says that the only way that she can make it right is to give the sword, because the sword represents her life. Yeah, because she, she's upset because you chose a sword over me. You could have came back for yeah. me. And yeah, we just get more drama. Because we, apparently the Zaylin hasn't grown up. Yeah, it, it's quite it's quite disappointing. And Paling at that point says, "If you if the sword is really what you what you need, then I guess this is goodbye." Because that's a line she just won't cross. Mm -hmm. it, it's quite. It's quite. Uh, well, yeah. Palin's like you care. You care more about the the that than mm -hmm. reconciling and all. You use you know as a way to get back. We gotta be, be petty. And and yep. she's right. I I mean, Zaylin is, is kind of petty. Is like, well, I'm gonna get back at you. What? So. Yeah, obviously, no, obviously, obviously Zaylin is doing well. She's got her own business and everything, you know, stuff. Yep. And but it like, all doesn't matter when it comes to, uh, oh, I realize that I'm still pissed at you. And so that's it. Um, but we cut back to America. Where uh, America. Althea, yeah, exactly. Is yeah. looking into this ancient mystic art that Drake teaches. And it turns out that... Althea finds a website. Um, and Drake mm -hmm. has been live streaming dangerous fights between him and students, profiting yeah. without the kids knowing. And yeah, on the, on the ground fight club. Yep. What's the first rule of fight club, Froggy? Don't talk about it. Well, we're going to talk ah. about it quite a bit. Um, Althea and Nikki tell the rest about the operation. And Althea says that the fights are being broadcasted from a secondary location, not the school. Evan tells them the broadcasting site is their smoking gun. If Althea can trace it, then they can they can get him. Unfortunately, I mean someone has to be on site at the location close enough to that router. Uh so that way, Althea can tra track it. Nikki volunteers, and everyone's concerned that she's going to hurt herself. And she says that she's going to do it. No, mm -hmm. no matter what, she, she will. Um, but we do one more, f well, not one more final cut. A final cut between Xylan and her uncle. She reveals that she's looking for a notebook. And... Her uncle says that she promised to protect her from such things. And instantly, Silan is infuriated and says that he betrayed her because Pei Ling instructed him not to tell, well, Silan. And thus, she throws him against the wall and says that she'll kill him if, he has, if she has to, but she needs to know where that book is. And she goes under the floor um, because, well, that's where he reveals it to be. But it's missing things. And she asks, where the hell are these items? And, well, the uncle reveals he sold them to Mr. Tan. <sighs> yeah. It, it, <sighs> Understanding Zalin is important, but I feel like there, there's something just about it that's she feels really em embittered by everything, and I'm not sure how, how I exactly take that for her character. Mm -hmm. Um, let's get to the real fun part, though. Nikki is going to Drake's. Um, and so she gets under there, and this location, she's going to be fighting Master Drake himself, even though, uh, it turns out that one of the students was should have uh, fought her. Drake's like, no, no I will just her myself. Yeah, because he wanted to make an example of her because he's a fraud. Oh, yeah. And so they get into a fight, and she Drake nabs her in the ribs, and she goes down. 
and Drake taunts her. But at that moment, N and Nikki like glances and she sees Pei Ling watching her in her mind. And it causes another flashback. It's Pei Ling after visiting Xilin. Uh, and Nikki asks if she's okay and says how she is a fantastic Shifu, even though Pei Ling is responding herself. And mm -hmm. Pei Ling says, if I want to look into my, my teachings to judge myself as a teacher, uh, the, 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 that's not right. If I want to look to whether or not I've succeeded, it's to look at you, at your growth. And at that moment, Althea has cracked the location of the streaming servers. Evan goes to call it in, and Ryan goes to call Henry so that they can get her out of there. Um, but with a determined glint in her eyes, Nikki gets up, the duel resumes. She sweeps Drake, and the tide seems to turn. Yeah, she sweeped. Yeah, she sweeped the leg. And she ultimately wins. She's defeated, and the students leave. Well, yeah, she does the whole thing where she pushes them back, you know, or the double punch to the chest or stomach, mm -hmm. and then she goes back, and then she does the running and does a spinning drop kick, where she like kicks them once and then kicks them twice in the chest. I was like, dude, yeah. it's like it's awesome, and like yeah. And so she's succeeded, and the cops will be going after Drake, and Phoebe's going home, and... It turns out her mother was there, though. Her mother watched. Yes, May Lee. Um, she was watching. And... Well, because... And, and this is the whole thing. It's like, Nikki had been lying there. They didn't tell her exactly what goes on. She left her mom in the dark, because, you know, she, her mom would, she figured, like, well, mom would get all upset, you know, and just didn't want to deal with that crap. So, I mean, which and I mean, we, yeah, which leads we to, have, yeah. We have to go over one moment of drama. Um, but she is talking to Henry and says that they could start uh, working out together again and try to seek something. But after he saw her with Evan, if she has yes. any feelings for Evan, uh, Henry can accept that, but he has to uh, put this on hold, and he, which is kind of dumb because it's it's him giving up, and I thought it was so stupid. It's like, why are you doing this? Like, because yep. <sighs> and this is where we'll go to China one more moment because she goes to uh, Zawen goes to Mister Tan's son, and goes to speak about him, about being friends. And she uh, says that they could work, uh, they could do things for each other to, well, if she gets what she wants. And they they, they get out there. It seems like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I, I'm not sure about that. But we get to the final bit of drama this evening. Mei Li says that being a warrior is in Nikki's blood. She was worried about it. That all of this is from an ancient lineage. She is, in fact, one of the descendants of the first female warriors. Mm -hmm. The one who carried that sword. And she believed that, uh, well, she didn't believe it. Her sister, sister believed. actually did, and sought to capture the sword, thinking that she was the right one. But seeing that, Mei Li shut that down. She didn't want Nikki to be a warrior. That's why she tried to push her away from all of it. But realizes now it's too late. It's already found her. And Nikki's very upset about this. So her destiny was laid out years ago when she's been lost, not knowing what she wants to do with her life. But she knows what she is supposed to do with her life now. And she gets overly upset and tries to leave. And her dad instantly like gives her the car keys and let her go. And he comes in looking to the mother and says, what did you do? And that's the end. Yeah. So basically, uh, Pei Ling... And Shaylin, I think her name was her name. 
and then now Nikki are all related, not not cousins, but I mean, their families' destinies are connected. They were Pei Ling, her family was charged was charged basically to, you know, guard the sword. And yeah. then uh, and then Nikki's family is uh, her descendant was the one that basically is destined to wield the sword. It, it all it all comes out, and we learn all of this. And yeah. uh, nice little practice. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to how to take this all. This is a lot what? of information that I didn't expect. But Did I, I do explain? Have to say, I'm glad no. we're back on the plot. But yeah, yeah. But this is, it also makes it interesting because then explains why she can see ghosts. She can see the people. I think yeah. that's really is paling. Yeah, because uh, her well, her family is watching over her. And that has some meaning to it. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, we really enjoy the series, don't we, Froggy? Yeah, it's pretty good. There, there, there's some silly, stupid drama things, but it's an overall good series. I'm interested in the sort story, seeing where it goes, and we're going to stick with it. Isn't that right, Froggy? Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to hop <laughs> and stick to uh, it. So, everybody, thank you so much for joining us here on the Extreme Movie Show. Uh, make sure to like and uh, comment. Make sure you're subscribed. We want to boost those numbers up always. Uh, like that. And we will see you next time. So, for Froggy and myself, bye and stay extreme. <laughs> 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 <laughs>